Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So my name is Andrew and today I'm going to show you how we are going to move this Neuromaker hand using our Neuromaker BCI headband, so our Focus Ones. So we're going to show you how to put these things together. It's actually quite simple and you can put on a lot of different applications after this. So before we get started, I'm just going to share a couple of things that you're going to want to have completed before you move on to this activity, just to make sure we're all starting in the same place. So before we do anything else, we're going to need to make sure that our Focus One headband is ready. So there's a video tutorial on how you can do that. Um, also, we're going to need to make sure that we have the software for this installed on our computer. Um, we also have another tutorial that I will link into the description below. And finally, you're going to need, you're going to, need to make sure that your Neuromaker hand is built. Uh, please make sure that all the different parts are built correctly. So we have some checking guides that you can use to determine that. And then the final piece is that we're going to need to make sure, let me just move this around a little bit, that our Neuromaker hand is connected to our blue board, right? So we have two different boards that go inside the Neuromaker hand. We have our blue board and our black board. For this activity and anything involving programming, you're going to want to make sure that this blue board is inside. So I'm going to plug that back onto my power board. So you're going to see, I'm just going to move my camera a little bit, so you can see that these are put together. So let me just do that again so you can see it, right? So our power board's up here on the top, and I'm going to put my blue board right where those pins go. All right, great. So everything else is set up. I'm going to put this back together. So now our hand is back in one piece. And let's take a look at what everything looks like step by step. So I'm going to start off by sharing my screen. And we're going to start off on this folder. So it's actually Neuromaker BCI Quick Start. Uh, this will be located inside of your LearnPress um, uh, Neuromaker curriculum page. Um, if you need any help uh, finding that, uh, feel free to contact uh, our support. Um, so this is uh, actually located on your curriculum page right here. So that's probably a good idea to show everyone. So if we go to Neuromaker STEM, if you go to Curriculum, Classes, and Neuromaker BCI Classroom, so all you have to do is go to Curriculum here, Module 1, and once you sign into your uh, credentials, you will see the Neuromaker Quick Start um, link come up right there. So we're going to jump ahead to here, and uh, you will notice that there is a Neuromaker Hand Files folder. So I'm going to click that, and you're going to see two different programs. So our first one here is our MBlock uh, desktop application. So since we are using the headband, we want to make sure that all of our connections are local. So we do not want to have uh, anything involving your brainwaves be located on a uh, internet-enabled device for uh, just now. So like this can all stay local, so you don't have to worry about uh, any kind of uh, like data going anywhere. So we're going to show you how we can set this up on your computer. And then we have some pre-written code that you can use right here. So first, let's set up mBlock. So you may have used mBlock before to do some programming uh, in the browser. However, for this version of the software, we're going to need to make sure that this is located on your desktop itself. So as I said before, this is going to make sure that our headband being paired with your computer's Wi-Fi will work appropriately and that uh, you can have you can make sure that all the data that's coming from your headband stays on your computer. So it's just going to be very simple. We're going to set this up and we're going to be alerted to a few different normal prompts. So we're just going to click through these and get it set up. We want this set up in English. So feel free to put this destination folder wherever works best for you. I'm going to put it uh, right here. As you can see, I've already downloaded this before, but um, just follow through the prompts and you will be ready to go. So we're going to install that. Okay, so we just skipped ahead to our mBlock completed setup. So as you can see here, we are now inside of our mBlock. So we're skipping ahead and we're going to show what this looks like. So once you have this screen open, this means that you have mBlock set up correctly on your desktop. So let's go ahead and look at the next piece of our folder. So as you can see here, there is this other piece. Uh, so this is actually the code for mBlock 
that you are going to be able to drag and drop into this environment that you just created. So let's go ahead and take a look at this just to make sure that we got it in there. That's good. Now, uh, feel free to access this file however you wish. I am going to locate this in my downloads. So what is nice about this is you can actually drag and drop this into your program. So let's just minimize this. We're going to open up this folder and headband control V3. I am going to drag and drop right in here and boom, look at that. It is all set up for you. So your device is already set up for you in this code. And this code itself is pre-written by us just so you know what to set up. So in this case, we're going to be controlling the UNO board directly. Uh, we're not going to be using our extension that we've used for some of our other programming content. And we have this setup uh, code for you. So feel free to manipulate this however you wish. I'm just going to walk through what this means from a very high level. And I encourage everyone to change this in whatever creative way that you can think of. But as you can see, we have a forever loop and we're going to set a new variable. So from the serial port, what you are going to see is we are going to take in the data coming in from our Neuromaker BCI headband. So what data are we taking in from the headband? Well, in one of our other tutorials, and we will also link this in the description, we have an attention algorithm. So that attention algorithm that you see on the top right hand side of your Neuromaker BCI Connect software is going to be controlling the hand here. So these numbers are the Neuromaker BCI attention algorithm that is going to be controlling these different servo pins. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about what these numbers mean in a moment. But just to make sure that we understand the, the basic pieces of this code first, you will see that each one of these servo pins is set individually. There are five pins. So as you can imagine, these are five different fingers. So actually we have uh, on pin two is the thumb, and this moves up into our pinky. So we have the thumb, we have the pointer finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and then finally the pinky. So you're going to see that we have three different gestures. So these are three different ways that we have the fingers arranged in different uh, statuses, or stati, I guess. And in this case, this is actually the status of a fist. So when you set your finger pins to these angles, this will actually create a fist. So when your thumb is at zero, your index finger is, or excuse me, your pointer finger is at 180, your middle finger is at 180, your ring finger is at zero, and your pinky is at 180. This will create a fist, right? So in this case, and uh, feel free to test this out if you don't believe me, um, and you will see that actually in a moment when this works. Um, so this here, we have a fist. So right here, if you set these uh, this way, this will actually create a peace sign. So this would be a peace sign, so this will make sure that your, your pointer finger and your middle finger are up and the rest of your fingers are down. And finally, uh, this piece here will put your hand at rest. So this will be like a high five. So all five of your fingers will be pointing up when your servo pins are set at this angle. So that is what these three gestures are. Um, this will make a lot more sense when we fast forward and look at what this looks like after we start controlling our hand. And also, you're going to see that you have these different variables, right? So let's take a look at what this looks like. So in this loop, we have this set that we are going to create a fist when our attention algorithm is 100, it's over 60 or it's below 100, right? So what this functionally means is that when our attention score is a, a 61, or I should say above a 60, up until 100, including 100. So whenever your attention score is in that range, you're going to create this gesture, which is a fist, right? So that's super cool. We'll be able to see that live in just one moment. Next, as you can see here, uh, it's that same logic. So when our attention score is greater than zero, below 30, or equal to 30, that is going to create this peace sign gesture, right? And then finally, we have our last piece. So when our attention score is 60, exactly, it's above 30 or below 60, that is going to create our 
at rest gesture, right? So our, our high five. So that is what this is. And just as you know, this is code that you can change. So feel free to change these angles to whatever you wish. Feel free to change these scores around. You can add more complicated logic to this code if you'd like, but ultimately that's what this is. So what we want to do next is now that we understand what this code is, we want to upload it to our UNO board. So just like a real firmware engineer would do, we need to make sure that our board is coded with the instructions that we want the board to use when we are programming. So all we need to do for that, I'm going to turn my camera back on. You're going to need to, let's get back here. So hello again. Uh, we're going to take our USB cord, which is connected to the back of our NeuroMaker hand, right? So that's actually going to be connected to your uh, blue board. If you haven't done this before, let me just see if I can get this up. Hold on, my camera is a little high. Yep, so as you can see, it's connected to that board. So I am going to plug this into my USB on my computer. So please do that where your device is. Yep, so you heard that, just get in there. I'm also gonna turn on my device. So make sure that you turn on this back part. So it's in the, right, uh, this on position. And you are going to see all the lights come on your hand. So let's go back to my screen. So now that we have that piece set up, what we need to do next is connect. So let's show all connectable devices. So COM3, when you see COM3 here, that is the serial port that is connected to your hand. So let's just hit connect. Perfect, so we are connected. Next, what we need to do is upload our code. So let's go ahead and upload that. So this should take about 10 seconds. So what this is going to do is take the code that we just wrote and upload it to our board perfectly. So our code's been uploaded. Now just remember, if you want to change any of this code or change the gestures, maybe change the uh, the ways that these variables are situated, um, you need to change the code and then upload it the same way. So that's all you need to do. And that's all you need to do for your mBlock software. So this code is inside of our board now. So what we can actually do is we can close this out. We are all done with that piece. So we can disconnect that. I'm going to take this out. And now all we need to do is open up our NeuroMaker BCI software. So we're gonna go into our application, right? So you can see here, um, if you haven't done this before, I'm gonna make sure that the tutorial is inside of this video, but we have seen this and you're gonna set this up the exact same way that we've done in previous tutorials with one difference. So I'm just gonna set this up the way that we normally do. Now I'm gonna set up the last four digits of Mac. So I'm gonna turn on my headband and we are going to see the network here, All right? So there's our focus now network. And, that is, and you can see here that my last four digits are 915A. That's 915A. I'm gonna double check that this is connected. And yes, it is, right? So of course there's no internet access because our headband is acting like a router. Now, the only difference we're going to do compared to our previous setup is we're gonna click on scan ports and you are going to see COM3, right? So that's the, as, that's the same port that we use to set up our code, if you remember from mBlock. So let's go ahead and finish our setup. So I am going to make sure that my headband is connected. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna put this on. Now let's go back to our setup and we're gonna click on next. All right, and it's going to connect. We're gonna prepare to plot. So we're gonna make sure we get a good signal here and here we go. And it's gonna initialize. Now what's going to happen is my hand is going to operate based on my attention algorithm. So let's go ahead. So just before I go back to my camera, remember we're operating off of this index. So this is our attention algorithm. And remember we coded it so that when my focus goes above 60, my uh, hand is going to make a fist when it's between 60 and 30, my hand is going to be in the rest state. So that's going to be a, um, a high five gesture. And when it goes below 30, 
then my hand is going to make a peace sign. So that's what this looks like here. Let's take it. So let's take a look at my hand, right? And as you can see, my index was between 30 and 60, right? So it's right here, a little above 40. And of course, that means my hand is going to be this uh, at rest sign. So this, um, this kind of uh, high five sign. So now what I'm going to do is I am notoriously uh, difficult to get a high focus score, but I'm very good at getting a low focus score. So on this attention piece, I am going to meditate, right? So I'm going to close my eyes and I am going to bring my score down. So I want to get this below a 30, right? Oh, I'm actually looks like I'm going to go above 60. So oh, am I going to get there? Nope. It's going to just skirt. As you can see, I get very close to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meditate. I'm going to open up my camera and let's see my hand. So when I get below a 30, my hand is going to make a peace sign. So ready? Let's see if I can do that. Oh, and there you go. You see, I just got it below a 30 and I opened up my eyes. <laughs> so I went back to a, a relaxed state. Let's see if I can do it again. And there you have it. And if you look at my coat, right, if you look at my score, yep. So you can see it's right around a 20. And now as I continue to talk, this is going to slowly go back up again um, as my uh, brain gives off signals that I am becoming more intent. And of course, uh, this goes right back to where it should be. So now you see the basics. So you can uh, program your hand to make different gestures based off of what your different attention scores are. Um, you can select the range that you want and you can add more complicated logic. So if you can follow in this tutorial. You can really have this hand do whatever you would like with whatever your attention score is doing. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you make some really cool projects and we're always excited to see what you do. Please join me for some more tutorials and I hope you have a great day. So I'll see you again soon.